All right, the 2022 real estate market in Cincinnati showed us some of the biggest changes in real estate activity since the beginning of the pandemic back in like 2020. Houses this year were sitting longer on the market, taking longer to sell. We saw a lot of sellers drop the prices on their homes in order to get them sold. And also the pressure on the buyers to make aggressive offers also seemed to calm down a lot as well. But what does all this stuff mean if you're planning on moving to Cincinnati or buying a house in Cincinnati in the year 2023? Whoop de doo what does it all mean, Basil? Well, I'm going to share some of the experiences of some of the most recent people that have helped make moves to Cincinnati, Ohio, and explain to you what you should probably expect in 2023 if you plan on doing the same and purchasing a home right here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're getting into it right now. What's up, it's Victor Pham, your Cincinnati Realtor. If you're new here to this channel, we talk about all things Cincinnati, all things real estate. So if you wanna know what it's like to live, work, eat, play, and chill in Cincinnati and the Cincinnati suburbs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you're notified of a new video every time I upload it. I'm getting calls, texts, emails, messages, and reach outs all the time from people finding me right here on YouTube and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home here in Cincy or the suburbs around Cincy, feel free to reach out to me. I'm sure I can help you with that. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic. Okay, so the biggest thing I would say buyers were struggling with back in 2021 and maybe a little bit of early 2022 was flat out getting their offers accepted. The demand was just so high and the supply was so low that buyers were just willing to pay ridiculous amounts of money to outbid the competition and land the home they wanted. Now all that craziness is starting to decrease and it's getting a lot better for buyers going into 2023. Let me show you what I mean. This link I'm in here is the Cincinnati MLS, which gives me all the data for on-market real estate activity here in Cincinnati. So let's go up here and look back one year ago. So it's December, 2022 right now. One year ago would be December, 2021. And let's select the four major counties of the Cincinnati market, which would be Butler County, Claremont County, also Hamilton County and also Warren County right here. Look at this active inventory, very low compared to the previous month, which would have been November, 2021. Average days on the market, it was only four days, which means when a seller put their house on the market, it was under contract with a buyer in four days or less on average. That's fast guys. That's like no time at all for buyers to think. And obviously with no inventory, you're not getting listings, which is this stat over here, new listings hitting the market, very low. Average sold price about 240,000. All right, let's look at the current day. We can't look at December just yet because the MLS people don't release the data until the month is over, but we can look at November, which would still show us a lot of what we need to know. So November, 2022, look at the difference compared to last year this time. Active inventory, much higher, yes, but here's the biggie in my opinion. Average days on the market, eight days. That's double compared to last year, guys. Remember, it was four days last year. That's a big, big deal, and maybe a sign of where we're headed with this real estate market here in Cincinnati. I mean, if you're getting more inventory, meaning more houses being available for buyers to choose from, and also the houses that do go on the market, they're staying on the market longer, what does that mean? Well, for buyers, that's a great sign. This means you actually have time to think about the purchase. So that pressure is being reduced on the buyers because they are not in a panic mode, trying to make a decision and compete with 10 or more other buyers. Now you're speaking my language. And honestly, that is really what makes the home buying process enjoyable, actually having time to think, take in the process, soak it in, soak in the experience, and really make an informed decision that you will learn from and remember for a long time. That's what's happening right now. More inventory means more homes to choose from. Houses sitting on the market longer means less buyers competing for those homes, therefore making it a lot less stressful for the buyers and they can actually breathe a little and think about the purchase. So it's great for buyers in general. 
Now, don't get me wrong, there's still some competition in our market, mostly in the top school district area. So if you're wanting to be in a really good school district and the house is really nice, meaning all the way up to date and modernized type home, then you may get a little competition. I'm experiencing that with my buyers. It's not insane like it was two years ago when you might have 10 or 15 offers to compete with. Right now, you may have one or two offers to compete with in those really competitive school zones. So in the really good school districts, we're still having to write really strong offers to get them accepted. And there's a little bit of competition still lingering there. But the general Cincinnati area has calmed down a lot and the last few buyer clients I've helped, we were able to get them some pretty favorable terms. We were able to get a couple of them under contract right at list price. I was actually able to get a couple more of them under contract under the list price, as well as convince the seller to give us help with the buyer's closing costs. Now, all that is situational. Every situation is different, but in a market that is starting to favor buyers a little bit more, you're gonna get more motivated sellers like this. They'll be willing to help the buyer more because they know that buyers have options now with the increasing inventory and they wanna get their house sold. And sometimes they'll give you what you want if you just ask for it. I think a big part of why we had less buyers in the market also is because of the interest rates that were gradually increasing. Current mortgage rates are in the mid to high sixes for 30 year fixed rates, which a lot of people think is high, but honestly, in my opinion, that's not really that bad especially if you're putting down a down payment. You're gonna have equity from day one. Those two and 3% interest rates we saw during the pandemic were just ridiculous. And honestly, I don't know if we'll ever see that again. And a lot of people who bought when the interest rates were that low, they paid well over list price just to get the house. So it really kind of negated the purpose for a lot of buyers. I mean, think about it. If you pay 20,000 over list price, you pretty much killed all your equity for the first three years but you got a lower interest rate. So there's trade-offs there. Most mortgage experts I talk to say a healthy market is one where the interest rate is around 5%. So we'll see if it gets back down there. We'll see what the feds decide to do. If it goes back down, I would expect the amount of buyers in the market to definitely increase again. But in any sense, the market here in Cincy is cooling down for sellers and heating up for buyers. So if you're moving to Cincinnati in the coming year and plan on buying here, I do expect the market to continue to trend in favor of the buyers and hopefully get to a much more healthy market as we go into 2023. Only time will tell, we'll see what happens. If making a move to Cincinnati, Ohio is on your mind and you're thinking about buying a house anywhere in Cincy or any of the suburbs around Cincy, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you with that. If you're interested in some more cool videos on what it's like living in Cincinnati, Ohio, check out these videos right over here. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic.